So now we're going to do the highlights next and it's a good idea to use a white, because we're going on white paper, we want that highlight to look white primarily. It's a good idea if you use a the whitest pencil you've got. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try some white charcoal because that seems to work differently on here. See, this is the white charcoal here. It hasn't gone yellow. It look you can you can't see it on this paper. So I'm going to try this. So for a start, I'm just going to put in white there where I know there's a bit of white and here in this highlight here it's just right on the corner here trying very hard not to drag the black in here don't want to get the black in here and then there's another little highlight just here. It doesn't matter if they're bigger as long as you've got some white on there. white on, white charcoal, that's actually, um, that's not charcoal, I'm sorry, it's Conte Paris pencil, but that's how it comes out, and it, it mixes, well, it is, it is pastel, I think. Okay, so we want a nice sharp black now, and get it a bit sharper. pressure on this at all. Don't need to do the pressure thing. It's not necessary. Now this, if you get it wrong, you can fiddle around with it until it's right. So don't worry about getting it right first time. I rarely do. But it is very important to get these highlights in the right place so they look realistic. the shape of that one there. Then we've got a black line coming across here.
I'm just going to fill this in with black because this eye is very dark. I'll put a bit of red in it though to make it look a very dark brown. But for now, I'm just going to get the black in so we get the proper effect of what's going on with the, the highlights of things. And we can go back and look at the highlights again, make sure they're in the right place. There's a slight lightness there. Yeah. So I'll leave it there. Okay, that's pretty well mapping the eye out there. Or a black line there. See, I like to add these in because they give a nice effect and it, it kind of helps you to, yes, I've got everything in the right place. This black line is coming there. And then he's got his other black lines coming here. A very strong black line here. I'm just measuring that to make sure, yes, that is the correct line. Slightly curved. And then it's So we've got his eye all mapped out now. This I can see it needs to come down a bit. So I haven't put the black on very hard because I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna add some. I will just like to look at this straight on, but I don't want to block your view of it. So I'm gonna leave it there, then have a look at it straight on. And we'll carry on with this tomorrow, and, and also the light will be better. Alright, that's that patch there. I think what I fancy doing actually is just blocking in all these black patches and it will really, really help. Yeah, it doesn't have to be strong but it will really help us keep our place and make it easy to do. 
we've got quite a strong line there that's all lighter fur it kind of this see to get these little flecks on top of here we can um, get the black in and then we'll just we'll just go over it with the the colour of our choice when we've decided what we want to do. It's going right out to that and then that's coming up there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there now and uh, wait for the good light to come tomorrow and um I'm going to try and do a bit of editing now on our first video, all the tracing on and everything. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, now. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Hope I didn't block the vision too much. Bye for now.